So today I'm going to be reviewing the Pika 3D Super Pen. This is a pen that I purchased myself on Amazon and I want to show you how it works today and all the features of this pen. It's a very basic, simple 3D pen. It's a really affordable price on Amazon. It has a wide base grip, which is personal preference as to whether you like to draw with like a super thick marker or more of a thin pen. Personally, I don't mind the wide base. I find it more comfortable in my hand, but that's personal preference. Um, this pen is compatible with PLA and ABS, and it does have this LCD screen, but there's only two buttons here, so you do have to kind of get used to how the buttons work. There's no, um, there is a speed selection, but you have to use these buttons in order to uh, select it. So unlike other pens that might have a speed toggle, forward and backward, and then temperature buttons, these two buttons do everything on this pen. So just to get started, you do need to obviously plug the pen in. These 3D pens do require a power source. Once you plug it in, you'll see PLA and you can flip to ABS if you want ABS. I'm gonna be using PLA today, so I'm gonna press the forward button to confirm. And then it's gonna start heating and it's red because it's not yet at the desired temperature. But once it gets to the desired temperature, it will turn green. Then I've got my PLA here, so I'm going to simply insert it into the back here and then I'm going to press forward on my pen and my filament will start moving through the back of the pen you can see the filament is already coming out here And then I can press the button to stop the extrusion. There is a speed setting on this pen. So if I press this back button, you'll see either P1, program one, or program two um, being slow and fast. And so you can actually adjust the speed. So when you use a 3D pen, I recommend that you start with really basic things like shapes. This is from my 3D pen tutorial, which I'll link in the description. So it does, the Pika does come with some templates and stencils, but I think these are a little bit advanced for a beginner. So I just recommend that you start with regular shapes, 2D shapes, and I recommend that you laminate your paper so it's easy to peel off your design. So what you wanna do is you wanna press that green button and wait for your filament to start extruding. And then you want to start by outlining whatever it is that you want to draw. So you're gonna to start to outline. So I've got my outline here. And then I'm gonna slowly go back and forth with my pen to fill it in. There's a misconception that with 3D pens, you actually draw in 3D. It's not really true, you actually just draw in 2D and then you connect those 2D shapes together and that is what creates the 3D shapes. So for example, if you were gonna draw a box, you would draw all of the different squares and then you would connect those squares together to make your box. So I recommend starting with basic, basic shapes, perhaps your name, in my tutorial here, I have a bubble wand, which is a fun thing to start with. These basic 2D shapes will just get you used to the feeling of using the pen, the speed that you need to go back and forth with your pen in order to make your shape. And then you can eventually get into some more complex designs with different colors and potentially layering filament one on top of each other, which would allow you to draw more in 3D. That's basically how 3D printers work. They layer the filament on top of each other, but they do each layer at a time. Okay, so I'll stop there. Had a little bit of a string come off, so I can either pull it that away, or I can take a pair of clippers and pull it off. Should just give it a few seconds to cool down. Does it obviously get hot? This is the hot end here. You wanna avoid this. Um, kids need supervision with this um, device. As you can see, it's rated for kids age 14 plus because it is like working with a hot glue gun. So the nice thing about the laminated paper is that you can really easily peel your design off of the laminated paper. So there we go, there's my 2D shape. And again, if I created a bunch of these, I could layer them 
uh, together to make more of a 3D item. So that's the Pika 3D pen. Considering the price, I think this pen really has everything that you need. It's got PLA, ABS, temperature setting here. It's got uh, speed mode, slow and fast, and then the extrusion here. So I think for the price, this is a great pen. Hope you enjoyed my review.